It is certainly good news that firefighters are experiencing extreme situations less frequently than ever before. But the changing face of firefighting in the UK means that practical training for crews is becoming more important. Crofton Engineering has a long history of working with emergency services, building bespoke structures and fire simulators. And as Robin Ross discovered, there is plenty of realism to keep fire crews at the top of their game. Feeling the pressure, officers from Cambridgeshire Fire and Rescue Service are practicing a rescue drill at their bespoke training centre in Milton. The venue's top class, we can use it for live fires, we can use it for a flat, for a, for a house. We've got a pitched roof, so we can use that for, for ladder drills. We've also got a tower um, that we can use with three, three storeys, so we can use that for uh, working at height exercises. This training facility was designed and built by Crofton Engineering. They specialise in designing bespoke structures for the emergency services. As budget cuts continue to bite, adaptable and affordable training is more important than ever. I need to provide cutting edge training facilities, training facilities that meet their need, training facilities that are fit for the future, and training facilities that we can adapt so that we can continue, no matter how far uh, the budget gets stripped out, to make sure that the firefighters we're sending to incidents are well prepared and capable of dealing with those incidents. We design, manufacture uh, bespoke training buildings for the emergency services, so everything from uh, standard rope rescue towers, ladder practice towers, safe working at height structures, confined space structures, smoke buildings, cold and hot smoke, carbonaceous simulators and LPG fired uh, simulators. Crofton Engineering employs people from within the fire service. Andy Barker had a 30 year career at Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service, specialising in safe work at heights. He brings his years of experience and knowledge to the design process. It could be that they want uh, a window cleaning cradle on the side of a tower or they just want to do basic safe work at height so we'll open the structure out and just let them allow them to climb on the structure put some extra anchor points in, make some holes in the floor so they can go up and down ropes, simu simulate sewer rescues the total number of fires attended in 2013-14 was 212,500. That's down by 40% in the last 10 years, thanks to fire prevention. So officers are attending fewer fires. At 3 o'clock in the morning, it, it's one chance, and that's what training, real modern training is about. The training props, their buildings, their structures, the sort of thing that Crofton designs and manufactures in collaboration with fire brigades. We can have movable walls, we can have doors open both ways. So when an instructor comes along to fund the fire service, they can come and say, right, today we're going to do a left-hand search or a right-hand search. We'd like to keep it fresh every time. This building has really been built to test firefighters. It's like a room within a room. And when it's filled with smoke, it's very easy to miss something. Like this ladder here that leads up to the attic, where the casualty could be. During training, the crew are called to attend a report of a light aircraft crash. Training must reflect all types of emergencies. With some of the major disasters that we've had since 9-11 and 7-7, um, a lot of emphasis has been placed on urban search and rescue. So we've designed a range of buildings for the guys to practice those types of techniques. So they'll put a casualty in a confined space with a lot of obstacles in their way. We want to build something that's going to last us, that's reasonably priced and flexible that we can change for the future. Crofton Engineering made its name building training structures. This is their very first tower, built in 1958 to train crew at Linton and Cambridgeshire, and it's still going strong. All these structures give firefighters extra confidence. Without that sort of training facility, we couldn't do our jobs really. It, it, to maintain the level of confidence firefighters need, to be able to train every day is of paramount importance to us. You know, there's no way we could fulfill our roles without having that. So, so yeah, it's, it's vital for us. Thank you.